Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Mish Mash Monday. All right, it is eight o'clock or a little after eight on Monday morning. I have a dental appointment in about an hour and a half and I thought, let me get this video done. Let me share with you what I have for today because I'm not sure what kind of shape I am going to be in when I get back home. <laughs> so uh, on Saturday, my sister came by and she had been to the thrift store and found a bunch of crafting goodies. And uh, I'm like, wow, she hit the jackpot she did not pay much at all. I was going to reimburse her and she said, nope, this is your Mother's Day gift. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Out of her own personal stash, she gave me this little Avon bottle that looks like a little deer. It's cute. So that's going to go with my other Avon bottles. Okay, let me show you what she picked up at the thrift store. It's crazy. First of all, this Tim Holtz embellishment. Is that crazy? Uh, still in the package. So she got that. She found some embossing folders. And I don't know if you'll be able to see. They're a Sissix embossing folder. There's one. There is... Let me see if I have this correct. Here's another. And... Another... I don't know if you'll be able to see the pattern. This one has dots. Okay, then she found some, like, mini embossing folders. There's one. Uh, two. Let's see. I'm trying to see which way these go. Oh, okay, this one goes, I think... I think it goes like that okay and then here is the last embossing folder cute I definitely love using embossing folders all right she found punches she found this one here you can see the pattern on that one I don't have that one she found this one and they seem like they do work she found this one. You get uh, you can punch out two sizes of circles, and it does tell you the size on there. I think one's a half inch and a quarter inch, or something like that, or a three quarter inch. Oh, I missed an embossing folder. Here's another one. All right. Then the last punch she got. It makes a doily, and there's that punch. All right. That is amazing. She also found. A mason jar a Kerr mason jar it's missing the actual lid but I think I have one I love storing my straws in these so I'm like yeah because you go to the store if you find them they are pricey so yep a large mason jar the other thing she found in a large grab bag were wood pieces she found several of the leaves See if I can pull those out real quick. Uh, a bunch of these little trailers. A bunch of those, like maybe six of those. Leaves were about six of them. About six of these roses. These are all wood pieces. Uh, let's see, I'm still kind of digging through here. Um, a lot of these little mason jars, and they're kind of a 3D thing. Um, a lot of these chalkboard mason jars, a lot of those, about 10 of those. Uh, a bunch of these little flowers. And a bunch of these, about a dozen of these tags. And I have seen these, and I had a few in my stash already. You can get them at Walmart for like 98 cents. A bunch of these little houses. And let's see what else. Um, I think from that, I've already sorted them in a container. Uh, I'm just kind of looking through real quick. Oh, a 
bunch, a bunch of butterflies. A bunch of butterflies. Um, different varieties of butterflies. Like that one. I guess it goes that way. Or maybe it goes that way. A uh, bunch of butterflies, different sizes and stuff. Um, and anyway, she bought a bunch of these wood pieces. There was also a large chicken that's a wood shape. Uh, all of that for less than $4. Yeah, I thought it was crazy. Then she uh, found, and I'm not going to go through all of this, but she found this bag of stickers. Just various stickers. Uh, some uh, There's also some notepads in here. Um, so here's one of them. Just notepads. This one I recognize from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, uh, you know, little writing tablets. Um, some cutouts, borders. Uh, let me see if I can pull out a few more things. You know, like tablets so you can write on. I can always use that. Um, just a baggie full of stuff. And of course, she, she never pays much for anything. This here... I thought that was kind of neat. Um, let's see. And what I thought was kind of fun, she had this in her stash, and uh, she gave these to me. I think, I think she had these, or I don't know if these were included in this bag. But these, like mini calendars, I don't know if they're six by six, but they kind of look that way. Um, and I thought, oh, I can make envelopes out of all those pretty images in here. Uh, all these um, beautiful scenes. I can make some envelopes with my envelope punch. So I thought those were cool. Uh, I'm not going to use the calendars. Here's some with flowers. So I thought that would be cool. She she kind of gathers things for me too. Stickers that she might get. Um, oh, these were in here too. i got to show you these. It wasn't all complete, but there are some Mickey Mouse cutouts. So And there's some more in there because they, they fell out. So those are, are kind of cool. See, there's like a mix, Mickey Mouse kind of strip of uh, cutouts there. So just a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of things in there. I'm just like, wow, it's so fun to kind of uh, look through everything. So that's what my sister uh, brought over on Saturday. And again, I was willing to reimburse her, but she goes, nope. Uh, that is your Mother's Day gift. And I'm like, wow, that's so sweet. Uh, I gave her... The frame that I made her, that a circular frame that you clip on pictures, she loved it. And I sent one uh, to our other sister, which she was going to see uh, on Mother's Day. So I sent that so she can give that to her. Um, let me also share what my sweet husband gave me for Mother's Day. I'm going to bring this over here uh, because I thought this was so sweet. This I love... You know, I love distress inks. I love using distress inks on photo paper and just cardstock. What he got me were several more of these uh, storage containers that you can put your mini inks in. Okay? So he got me three more of those. Then he got me the distress inks I do not have. So he got me that pack. That one there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. And I think he said there's several more sets coming. So I think that would be really cool. So there's there's five sets here. Then he also got me this uh, Distress Ink Refresher, I guess. And I have to read this, but I think you, uh, to kind of refresh your little ink pads, you can use that product. Uh, and it came in a bundle, that refresher did. It came with a bundle with the uh, Tim Holtz uh, Distress Sprayer. It has two like settings, a, a mist and a uh, droplets. And then it also came with a glaze. And I never used the glaze, so I'll have to read on that and see what you do for that. So glaze. And then it also came with... I think these are little applicators, but I am not sure. So it came with these three, the sprayer, the...
the uh, refresher and the glaze. That was a bundle that he got me. So super, super sweet. Oh my gosh. And then he and I together, uh, we made nachos because that's what I wanted for Mother's Day. <laughs> so we had some nachos yesterday for uh, our lunch dinner kind of thing. So all right. The other last thing I want to share with you is when my sister was uh, at uh, or came over on Saturday, she and I just ran up to Dollar Tree and I did pick up a few things and I want to share those with you. So I picked up another one of these wood frames that have the heart cut out uh, in the center and then it has the little uh, uh, stick where you put it right there and you can stand it on a tabletop. My sister, my sisters uh, have this picture they took together. It is so beautiful and uh, uh, my sister that was over on Saturday wanted me to put a frame together and then decorate it so she can give it to our other sister and then she could have one too. So I'm going to make those, um, embellish the frames and put the picture in it. So when I get that done, I'll share that with you. I also, since I had a little bit of success on rub-on transfers with my neighbor's plaque, I thought... I'll buy these rub-on transfers. Look how cute those are. Those are really, really cool. I liked this pack a lot. So I picked up two. Then I am working on some um, scarves, and I'm putting decorative beads on them. So I bought this one for my sister Maggie. She loves purple. And then I asked Annabelle, who was with me, I said, pick out a scarf that you like because I'm going to make something for you. And she picked out this one. She mainly loves blues. So uh, she picked that one up. And then uh, I, I might keep this one for myself. So I'll, I'll do a scarf for myself. This one has beautiful butterflies. Look at that. And just kind of a neutral kind of tone. Then my sister bought a bunch of these. And I thought, oh, those are really nice they are calling them serving trays, but you can put them, you can do anything with these. So I bought two of them. Let's see if this is the right direction. I think so. They are quite large. So I'm going to let you see if it has any more information on there. So I bought two of those. And that is all I got at Dollar Tree. So... Uh, yeah, I wanted to come on and share with you what my sister found at the thrift store, what she and I, or what I picked up at Dollar Tree when she and I went, and then what my sweet husband gave me for Mother's Day. So, all right, here I go off to the dentist. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.